Hey everybody, welcome to another review. Um, tonight I'm going to review uh, Node32, uh, 4.0 something something something. I think it's like uh, 4 point... Oh, I don't know, it's the newest one I could find. October 4th, or uh, no, that's when I downloaded it, sorry. Um, 33.7 megabytes. So, um, let's uh, do the installer. I got 10 URLs here. I'm going to try to keep this to one video, and um, it's, it seems to be working out alright if I keep it to one video. We're going to do a typical install. I'm going to set up these parameters later for password and username. Let's go to advanced setup. During update, ask before submitting. Okay, that's all fine. We're going to enable detection of potentially unwanted applications. We're going to install it here. Okay. So, for the sake of saving some time, let's see here. I'm going to pause the video right now and I'll be back when the next step continues. See you in a second. Okay, so just finish here. We're going to hit the finish. Gonna wait for it to start up here. Let me uh, turn on my networking card. Startup scan. Let's open the window here. Everything is uh, all set up there. Let's see. Smart scan. Update. Want to do strict protection? We're gonna update the virus database. Let's see here. Uh, one second here. Let me pause the video. Okay, so I had to uh, register for trial here. Hold on a sec. Okay, I had to register for trial here, and as you can see, it uh, it's downloading the updates now. It's going to be 21 megs. So uh, instead of uh, keeping you guys on the line here, I, uh, I'm going to pause the video again, but I'll only be for a second for you guys uh, while these updates are downloading. So give me a second here and I will be right back. Okay, so the update's almost done here, I would hope. And it's up actually updating the signatures right now. Let's see how long this takes. Okay, it's not too bad. And there you go. Updates are successful. So let's check out the uh, setup here. We'll go to advanced mode here. Everything's enabled as you can see. So we're not going to mess with any of the settings. We don't have the latest Windows updates or whatever, but that's fine though. So let's get started on some protection here see how we do. Any time now. There we go. These are all fairly new within the last 24 hours. And that one was blocked. The address was blocked. So that's good. And that one was blocked too. Okay, don't see anything there. Dead. 
It's a fake uh, scan here. Yes, yes, we know. We want to see the video. Don't be bothered. That one, of course, never works. We got something here. Now, it did block an address, but uh, let's see what we get here. All right, okay, it blocked the variant of safety center. Oh, we got a command prompt that opened up in the background. We'll let this work away, do whatever it's doing. And it blocked the address. That's good. This one might already be dead. This is a exploit, I think. And that one got blocked. So that's good. So now, what I'm going to do to uh, keep the video short is I'm going to download malware bytes, uh, update it, run, uh, run a quick scan and uh, we'll check out the results when that's all done. Oh, this is annoying. So, I will be back when the quick scan is done and we'll check out the results. See you in a second. Okay, the malware byte scan just finished here. So let's check out, see what I found. Okay, we got some stuff in temp files. We got a couple registry keys. We got uh, generic bot here, some temp files, MSA, that's actually still, it was running in task manager. We, and we also got a couple of things running here that probably shouldn't be. Um, like b.exe. Um, I don't know what else, I don't I haven't used ESET anymore so I don't know what their services are, but I imagine some of these probably should not be here. Um, okay, so we got some tasks here, some registry keys, and there's that b.exe all running. So, as you can see, ESET did okay. It did miss some, um, and some of these that I've installed on here that got installed, it already automatically submitted to ESET for analysis. So I'm sure that the next time you test b, if you try to find b.exe or uh, msa.exe, they'll already have uh, detected it. But as you can see in today's world, uh, you need more than signatures. You need uh, some kind of hips or um, something really, really strong. Um, you know, heuristics, eh, it works. Um, but, you know, in its stock configuration here, like I tested it, it did miss some. So, I'll give it like an 8. 8 out of 10. I don't know. So, uh, this is my review. Time's coming up real fast to end it here. I'll just leave it here for you guys to see how it is. And I'm going to move on to my next review. I'll talk to you guys later.